Welcome to Holly Terminator X Training Part 3. In this video, we're going to be learning about our global file structure and proper file saving. This is going to be a critical step in your calibration process. We need to know how to go and save our files properly and then saving them into correct folder locations so we can access the specific vehicle project that we're working with and we're not going to waste time and have a cluttered mess in managing our files. We're going to have a lot to learn, so let's jump into this video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at proper file saving and file structuring within our Terminator X software. This is an extremely important task that's very fundamental, but we have to make sure that we take care of it so that if we're working with various stages of our calibration process, we're saving along the way so it gives us a way we can backtrack. It's also gonna allow us, between working with different vehicles and projects, we can keep ourselves organized and we have our files saved in the proper file structuring. So let's first, open up a global file here. I'm gonna talk about some things we need to know as far as our file saving goes, and then going in and structuring our files, so this should make a bit more sense. Let's go here to open global file. It doesn't matter which file we choose right now. We can see in our directory here, we can find it's gonna be uh, the directory itself, the global file directory. It's gonna be found here on home, documents, holly, terminator x, global files. So we can see within the global files folder, we have our base cal folder. Now we can create our own subfolders within here for the various projects we might be working with, but right now we haven't saved anything and we haven't created our own custom folders. I'll show you how to do that in just a little bit here. Let's go into base cals and we're gonna jump into our subdirectory here. So these are the base calibration files that Holly's going to be supplying for the Terminator X system. That's gonna allow us to get up and running, make our lives a little bit easier. So these are essentially just our base maps. Let's go in here to our GM and we have some options here, LS, big block, small block, I'll go here to LS based. We can grab any of our files in here. These are the original files. Now one thing I wanna point out is that we do not want to go in and over save on top of the file that we're working with. If we wanna go back in and open up the file again, if we've saved it, let's say we make some changes, that's gonna get it maybe a little bit closer to what we're working with, maybe the injector size and the file isn't gonna be suitable, so we're not running FIC 1650cc injectors. Maybe we're running something like Injector Dynamics 1000cc or whatever the injector might be, we're gonna be changing some things. If we go and do a save and we save on top of this file, we no longer can open up this file and have it as the default from Holly with the FIC 1650cc injector. Now, we may not be just making an injector change. We might be doing uh, fuel table changing or spark timing table changing or changing something with the transmission control or changing something with the map sensor type. I don't like to touch the original files, so this is gonna be a very important first step here is making sure that we keep the integrity of this file here and we do not touch it. So we need to learn our proper file saving techniques. So I'm gonna open up this file. Again, it doesn't matter which file we open, I'm going to do open right now. We can see the file has been opened up on screen. Now, in order to save this file and not overwrite it, we have some options here. At the very top, we find that we have this save button. If I just click save right now, it'll save any changes I'm making to that original file here. So supercharged uh, underscore 58X underscore 4L80 underscore MPFI underscore LS. So it's going to be saving to this file name. So any changes I make, it'll overwrite this original base file from Holly. We don't want to do that. So the very first thing we're going to do here when we're opening up a base global file to start off with, we're going to go here to file and we have some options here. We have save global file, which is going to be the same thing as going here and clicking save and overwriting on top of this original file, or we can go to save global file as. This allows us to rename the file and not go in and save it on top of this original file name that's going to be in our directory. So our goal here is to leave these base files untouched, use them as good starting points and base starting points, and not alter or change anything from what Holly has went in and supplied us. So we can see if I go here to file name, if I click, simply click save and I don't rename it, it'll save it right on top of that existing file name. I could go in here and create a custom name at this point and save it in my LS based folder, or alternative to this, we could create our new subfolder here and get out of this folder completely if we use our up arrow. We can see that's going to be backtracking in our folder directory here. So in our GM folder, we have big block, LS base, small block. So if I go up one more tier, we find now we're in our base cals main folder and we have Ford, GM, Hemi, throttle body injection. And if I go up one more, now we're in our global files folder and then we have our base cal subfolder. So we're going backwards in our folders. Now we can create a new folder right here 
for this project. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.